I represent a team of engineers, doctors, designers, and businesses that have collaborated on a project to quickly distribute reusable PPE to healthcare workers that are on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. The concept is to adapt a full face snorkel mask to interface with an existing supply of rated filters. And we've called this project New Mask. We're partnering with supply corporations and with networks of hospitals to hopefully roll out a product pending approval by the FDA. We've designed this adapter that interfaces with the, the, the snorkel piece of the mask. And then the filter attaches to this port here. And this is a standard size filter. So this filter, for example, is a completely different brand and it also fits into the same port. And to test if the seal is working properly, you can try inhaling while covering the top portion. This is the only place where air should be able to get into the mask. And when you cover that port, you should feel the air inside the mask suck up against your face due to the negative pressure. So it's very clear from the test to the user that that seal is working. So to take the mask off, you just press the clip on the back. And you don't need to touch the front of the mask, which might be contaminated. Um, so it's then important to disassemble this and to clean it according to the parameters in the, the documents that we have published online, specifically the autoclaving of the, the main mask and then the decontamination procedures for the filter and the printed coupler. So now I'm going to talk about the second piece of our design, which is what happens when the hospital runs out of these uh, respiratory filters. Um, so we've designed a second modular component of this system, which looks like this, and it fits just right into, into the, the standard ISO port. And these uh, industrial grade 3M filters fit right onto, onto the system, and there are two of them on, on this port because they have higher resistance. Um, but it's a standard port for both the, the, these P100s and also for these cartridge filters, uh, it's the same standard port. So you can go from the medical filter supply to the industrial supply, and they have two different sources of the supply chain. We're working with Boston Scientific very closely and the University of Utah, along with suppliers. And so we're, we're kind of doing this giant international collaboration, uh, specifically to try to get this stuff to people. This is a stopgap solution for a problem of shortage of N95 masks. And as soon as those production lines come up, this won't be as necessary, but the point is that we need a solution tomorrow.